Hello and welcome to the Confucius Challenge. My name is Elena Pinto and I will be your host this week as we test the knowledge and talents of several University of Akron students. Stay tuned to see them battle it out in the Talent and Trivia Challenge. Welcome back to the Confucius Challenge, which is sponsored by the Confucius Institute and ZTV. The University of Akron's Confucius Institute is part of an international network supported by the Chinese Ministry of Education, which is dedicated to enhancing the understanding of Chinese language and culture around the world by providing scholarship for study in China, as well as cultural immersion programs in China. The Confucius Institute is a cooperative project of the University of Akron, the National Office of Teaching Chinese as a Foreign Language, Chinese Ministry of Education, and Henan University in Kaifeng, China. CTV is an Emmy Award winning student run television station and is partnered with WZIP FM. Welcome back to the Confucius Challenge. I'm your host, Elena Pinto. Today, contestants will be competing in the Talent Challenge. Contestants have one minute to perform a, a talent of their choice. They will be judged on skill and originality. So, if you could introduce yourself, um, state your name. Hi, I'm Bo, uh, and I go by Michelle here. Okay, <laughs> and where Michelle. are you from, Bo? Uh, Shenyang, China. Nice. nice, and what is your talent for today? Uh, for today, I, I'll do hip hop. Hip hop? Yeah. All right, well, good luck. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, what up, Grab girl? my glasses, I'm out the door. I'm gonna hit this city Let's before go. I leave. Brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Cause when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. I'm talking pedicure on our toes, toes. Trying on all our clothes, clothes. Boys blowing up our bones, bones. Drop top and playing our favorite CDs. Pulling up to the party. Did. Excuse me? How do you think you did? Oh, uh, I got a little bit nervous. I don't know if I did as well as you or not. Right, right. Well, it's always hard under the spotlight, right? Well, I think you did good. You had some booty shaking. I, I, could, I could take some few pointers from you. All right, so this is Ryan. Ryan, uh, what's your major? Uh, media production. Okay, where are you from? Cleveland. Cleveland. Nice, nice. Solid. So what's, what's your talent for today? Um, I'm going to do the Star Spangled Banner with my lips. The Star Spangled Banner with your lips. Okay. Good luck. <laughs>
God bless America. <laughs> so where did you come up with this talent? How did you figure out you had it? I don't know. I used to play trumpet when I was younger. Maybe that's from it. Right. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. But good job. How do you think you did? <laughs> uh, I think I did the first part I think I think you hit every note. And what's your name? Um, Wen Si Li. Wen Si Li. Yeah. And what is your major? Uh, it's polymer engineering. Oh, that's smart. So where are you from? Uh, from China. Nice. And <laughs> what's your talent for today? Uh, I want to sing a song. All right. And the name is Tian Shang Diao Xia Ge Ling Mei Mei. It's a Yue, Yue Opera. Sounds beautiful. Oh. Well, good luck. Oh, thank you. 天上掉下个灵妹妹眼前分明是瓦雷卡心地切啊哈斯就杀鱼。That's all, thank you. That was beautiful. How do you think you did? Um, so so. <laughs> so so. Well, I think you did great. Oh, thank you. What's your name? My name is Hao Wang. Hao Wang, yeah. it's nice to meet you. Um, what's your talent for today? Uh, sing a song. Sing a song. What yeah. song? Uh, it's a Chinese song. Oh, okay, alright. Yeah. Well, where are you from? China, Wuhan. Makes sense. Alright, okay. well, good luck. Thank you. You问我爱你有多深我爱你有几分我的情也真月亮代表我的心 你问我爱你有多深，我爱你有几分，我的情不移，我的爱也不会变，月亮代表我的心，轻轻的一个吻，叫我思念到如今。深深的一段情让我思念到如今你问我爱你有多深我爱你有几分我的情不变我的爱不变月亮 Thank you. That was so nice. Thank you. I You're was welcome. nervous. Were you a little bit nervous? <laughs> yeah, a little it bit. It is kind of nerve wracking. Yeah. 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 Well, I think you did great. Oh, what's your name? I'm Brittany, but everyone calls me B. B? Okay. Well, what are you going to do for us? Today? I'm actually going to speed draw for you. You're going to speed draw? Yes. Oh, it sounds like your major might be some sort of art. No. No? It's psychology. Nice. Okay. Well, speed draw away. So, I have no idea what I'm drawing, so I'm just going to start. That's how it usually goes with me. Looks like this one so far. So as quickly as possible, a beach. Well, B, that's a beautiful beach. I wish I could be there right now. Um, what do you? How do you feel about it? I feel it's pretty awkward. But pretty, I'm pretty awkward. Pretty, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean the sunshine is kind of. Smiling. Yeah, but that's okay. What's your name? My name's T. Borgel. I'm a French and international politics major here at the University of Akron. Awesome. And um, where are you from? I'm from Akron. I'm homegrown. Oh, okay. That sounds great. What's your talent for today? Well, I'm going to be joining the other contestants and singing a song, and I hope everyone will like it. All right. Good luck. <laughs> 不说成闹一千年以后放任无奈淹没尘埃我在飞逝之中手就你总来我的泪光承载不了我所有一千你要的爱因为在一千年以后
，世界早已没有我，无法深情挽着你的手，亲吻着你额头，别等到一千年以后，所有人都已忘了我。那是红色黄昏的沙漠，能有谁解开缠绕千年的寂寞 ？Thank you. Um, my bedtime is ten o'clock. Okay. So if you want to come sing me to sleep, that would be great. That's that's a very nice compliment. Okay. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name is Charles. Charles? Yeah.、Huh? It's nice to meet you. Uh, nice、Where? to meet you too. Thank you. Where are you from? <laughs> uh, I'm from Shenyang, China. 给我个理由，虽然不过是为分手而寻找的借口。既然已无法挽留，就放手让你走，让你走。我装作很坚强，却忍不住悲伤。想哭都要躲到无人的角落。你冷冷地对我说，他像天使般快乐，走进你生活，从此你别无选择。在拥有你的日子里，我习惯了失去自我。That was great. How do you think you did? Ah,、uh, it's ah.、Uh, I think it's nice. Yeah, it is very <laughs> nice. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Robbie. Robbie, it's nice to meet you. Robbie, what's your major? I'm a computer engineering major. Sounds awesome. And what's your talent? I'm going to be singing. Okay. Well, good luck. Seems like the trend. I don't practice Santeria. I ain't got no crystal ball. Well, I've had a million dollars, but I. I'd spend it all if I could find that Hana in the Sancho that she found. Well, I'd pop a cap in Sancho and I'd slap her down. What I really wanna know, my baby, who? What I really wanna say, I can't define. It's love that I need. Oh. My soul will learn to wait. Wow, that was nice. Thank you. How do you think you did? Pretty well, I hope. Oh, welcome.、Hi. What's your name? Kaylee. Kaylee, and Kaylee, what's your、um, major? Um, I'm not sure yet. You're、sure. not sure yet. Undecided. All right, that's the place to be, I guess. So, where are you from?、Uh, Copley, Ohio. Sounds good. What's your talent? I'm going to sing a song today. 在东京跌倒，第一次掉啊。看灯火魔法，坠落的星光，我终于到达，但却空悲伤。一个人望着我们的梦想，你总说时间还很多。你可以等我，以前我不懂得，未必明天就有以后。想念是会呼吸的痛，它活在我身上所有角落。哼你爱的歌会痛，看你的心会痛，连沉默也痛。遗憾是会呼吸的痛，它留在血液中来回滚动。后悔不贴心会痛，恨不懂你会痛，渐渐不能见最痛。That was fabulous. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you think you did? <laughs> Next, we have the trivia challenge. So stick around. What is the energy of innovation? 
It's a new way of looking at our world, of asking questions, seeking answers, and finding solutions. Like a contact lens for diabetics that changes colors with blood sugar levels, or a revolutionary nanofiber bandage that helps wounds heal faster. At the University of Akron, our students and faculty are improving lives here at home and around the world. Experience the energy. Join us at the University of Akron. Welcome back to the Confucius Challenge. I'm your host, Elena Pinto. Contestants just completed the Talent Challenge where they each had a one minute to perform a talent of their choice. Judges today are a graduate assistant for the Confucius Institute, Xiao Heng, a visiting scholar, Xiao Fei, and Associate Vice President for Student Success, Dr. Stacy Moore. Coming back, the judges will reveal their decisions. Great. Well, I would say we had a difficult time making some decisions about some very, very, very talented um, folks we had here today. It was like being on American Idol, but better, actually, better. We had better talent. Um, why don't we talk about our top three, starting with the third one. Mm, the third one is uh, Robbie Quinn. Uh, he sang an American song. Um, mm -hmm. He did an amazing job yes. um, in his performance. Mm, I think uh, I can feel his emotion when he sang the song. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I agree 100%. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very strong vocal. Yeah. Very strong vocal. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about number two? Do you want to talk about number two? Kelly? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I think this is a very popular Chinese song. There are many girl, uh, many Chinese girls uh, sing this song uh, in, uh, now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, the Ch Chinese song is a little hard to uh, Kelly, but, uh, he, but her pronunciation is very good. Yeah. yeah, the theme Excellent. of this song is about when you uh, miss your lover, the hurt uh, in your heart. And if, so if your lover is far away from you and when you miss her, that kind of feeling I can uh, feel when, when, he, when she was singing. Uh, especially at the end of the song, um, the key is a little higher and uh, he, uh, she still did perfect. Yeah. yeah, I agree. And someone, the only one who doesn't know the language, um, I think what was very pronounced is that I could see, feel her emotions um, and her articulation yeah. as well, the music. It was really very, very beautiful. And then our number one, our number one contestant, first prize goes to Tibor Gao. Um, and he just did an absolutely amazing job vocally, again, sang in Chinese. Yeah, and so you two could speak to how well he did that, but his emotion to me was very, very clear, very passionate, very, very strong vocal. Yeah, it's a love about uh, one after 1,000 years, the love can also exist um, between um, your lover and you. So, uh, keyboard uh, pronunciation of the Chinese, I can just like, like the native people when they sing a Chinese song. I, I, if I didn't see him, I couldn't feel the difference. Oh, uh, that's great, yes. that's great. Yeah. Anything else on? Yes, uh, uh, his pronunciation is very terrific. Excellent. He just uh, sang it naturally from um, his, his heart and uh, uh, also... Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Fantastic. he really did. Yeah. yeah, excellent, excellent talent all around, but huge congratulations to our top three contestants. Like our fantastic judges says, our three winners were third place, Robbie, second place, Kaylee, who sang beautifully, and first place, Tibor, who's going to sing me to sleep tonight. But now it's time for the trivia challenge. Each contestant will have 30 seconds to answer as many trivia questions as they can. The contestant with the most correct answers will win the challenge. In case of a tie, talent challenge scores will determine who will be eliminated. Our first contestant is Bo Liu. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. True or false, we can see the Great Wall from the moon. Yes, true. Ooh, false. All right, which of the following was not invented by the Chinese? Paper making, gunpowder, printing, ping pong, kites, ice cream, suspension bridges, or crossbow or silk? Ice cream. Ooh, nope. Ping pong. Next one. True or false? The bike was introduced to China in 1891 by two American travelers. Oh, false. Time's up. Let's see if she got it. Oh, it was true. So close. <laughs> How many did she get right? About two? 
everyone. Better luck I next time. We have Ryan Dangerfield here with us right now, and let's put 30 seconds on the clock. True or false, we can see the Great Wall from the moon. True. Ooh. Which of the following was not invented by the Chinese? Paper making, gunpowder, printing, ping pong, kites, ice cream, suspension bridges, crossbow, or silk? Um, ice cream. Eh. True or false, the bike was introduced to China in 1891 false. by two American travelers. Ooh. <laughs> One more, let's squeeze it in. China was True. only two years. 6,000 BC. I don't think you got it. No mm, so close. Sorry, Ryan. Thanks for playing. So this is when, and are you nervous uh, about the trivia? Uh, a, bit, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It'll be fine. All right, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. True or false, we can see the Great Wall from the moon. Yes. False. <gasps> Which of the following was not invented by the Chinese? Paper making, gunpowder, printing, ping pong, kites, ice cream, suspension bridges, crossbow, or silk? Uh, printing. No. Ping pong. Oh. Yeah. True or false, the bike was introduced to China in 1891 by two American travelers. Mm, false. Oh. China is the oldest continuing civilization dating back to 6000 BC. Uh, false. Oh, time's up. I don't even think you got it. So close. Mm. Thanks for playing. All right, so we have how. How are you nervous? Yeah, kind of. Kind of? All yeah. right, the questions aren't that bad, but they're kind okay. of difficult. So All right. let's get 30 seconds on the clock. True or false, we can see the Great Wall from the moon. No, false. Correct. Which of the following was not invented by the Chinese? Paper making, gunpowder, printing, ping pong, kites, ice cream, suspension bridges, crossbow, or soap? Creamy super, uh, the third one? Nope. Oh. Ping pong. The bike was introduced to China in 1881 by two American travelers. False. True. China is the oldest continuous civilization dating back to 6000 BC. True. There you go. Good Thank you. job. Thank you. Good work. All right. B, are you nervous? Always. Always <laughs> nervous. I <laughs> should be nervous. This is good. We're good. All right. Let's put 30 seconds on this. Okay. True or false? We can see the Great Wall from the moon. True. False. Uh, which of the following was not invented by the Chinese? Paper making, gunpowder, printing, ping pong, kites, ice cream, suspension bridges, crossbow, or silk? Ice cream. False, it's ping pong. Oh my goodness. The bike was introduced to China in 1891 by two American travelers. No idea. <laughs> okay, well I guess that was wrong. <laughs> oh, was it true or false? <laughs> China is the oldest continuing civilization dating back to 6000 BC. True. True, there you go. <laughs> Way to go. I think you did pretty well. Do you think you did good? Mm, only one, that's not true. <laughs> I mean, I, better than zero. So, Tibor. Yes. You think you're going to do okay? I will do my best, but based on what everyone else was saying, uh, what I feel and what will happen might not be the same case, so Ooh, all right. we'll see. Okay, let's we'll put see. 30 seconds on the clock. Okay. True or false, we can see the Great Wall from the moon. Uh, true. False. False, okay. Uh, which of the following was not invented by the Chinese? Paper making, gunpowder, printing, ping pong, kites, ice cream, suspension, bridges, crossbow, or silk? Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Ping pong. Wow. Yep, true or false, the bike was introduced to China in 1891 by two American travelers. Yes. Very good. True. Uh, true or false, China is the oldest civilization dating back to 6,000 yes. BC. Very nice. True. What is the national sport for the United States? F football. Baseball. Baseball. Oh, so close. That's okay. Are you nervous? Uh, a little bit. Uh, okay. Are you going to win this thing? Mm -hmm. Are you going to win? I don't know. You don't know? All <laughs> right. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock and see. All right. We can see the Great Wall from the moon. True or false? Uh, no, it's false. All right. Good job. Which of the following was not invented by the Chinese? Paper making, gunpowder, printing, ping pong, kites, ice cream, suspension bridges, crossbow, or silk? Uh, I think it's... Uh, ice cream. Oh! Pink. Oh, okay. The bike was introduced to China in 1891 by two American travelers. Ooh, time's up. Okay. Oh, uh, so sorry. Uh, never Thanks mind. for playing. Mm, you're welcome. Okay, Robbie. Yes. You think you got this? I think so. All right. You seem confident. Let's do this. 30 seconds. All right. We can see the Great Wall from the moon. True or false? False. Good job. Good job. Which of the following was not invented by the Chinese? Paper making, gunpowder, printing, ping pong, kites, ice cream, suspension bridges, crossbow, or silk? Ice cream. Ooh, ping pong. The bike was introduced to China in 1891 by two American travelers. True or false? False. True. China is the oldest continuous civilization dating back to 6000 BC. True or false? False. True. Last one. What is the national sport for the United States? Baseball. Ah! 
<laughs> you got it. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. All right, Kaylee, so are you ready for this? I guess so. Okay, we'll have to start. 30 seconds on the clock. True or false? We can see the Great Wall from the moon. True. Ooh, it's false. I don't know. <laughs> Which of the following was not invented by the Chinese? Paper making, gunpowder, printing, ping pong, kites, ice cream, suspension bridges, crossbow, or silk? Wow. Um, suspension bridges. Ooh, ping pong. Next question. The bike was introduced to China in 1891 by two American travelers. True or false? True. There you go. Way to go. One more. China is the oldest continuous civilization dating back to 6000 BC. True or false? False. Oh, it's true. Ah, oh, you did so good. <laughs> you got one right. After a hard deliberation, I'm sorry to say that these are the bottom four contestants. I personally think you guys did a great job. However, only two of you can continue on in the Confucius Challenge. So, how do you guys think you did? You think you, you think you can maybe manage to sneak a spot in? Maybe? Hopefully. Hopefully. All right. You don't know? All right, well, let's start with the first person who's safe. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And the safe person is? Wendy. Yes! Oh. You're so welcome. All right, thanks for being here. All right, we only have one more spot. One more spot. How bow and be? Who's it gonna be? How bow and be? All right. How? Unfortunately, I'm so sorry that you are standing up here right now, but you are safe. Oh, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Oh, bow and be. Come around. Come around. I'm so sorry that you guys have to go home. But did you have fun? Yeah, we had fun. Yeah? Did yes, you have fun? I did. It was good? All right, well, thanks for being here, you guys. I'm so happy I got to see your talents and your trivia questions. It was and fun. Yeah, good? Good. All right, okay. Thank you for joining us on the Confucius Challenge. I'm your host, Elena Pinto. Stay tuned to watch the remaining contestants battle it out to win the Confucius Challenge. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. To find out how you can make Emmy-winning media, visit the UA School of Communication online. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference.